review call. This is a special one. Uh, we decided to go a little slow on the sprint this this round uh, to work on other things. But I'll let Tam talk about that and just dive into the happenings of the common stack this round. Oh, where is it? <laughs> oh no, share screen error. Let's try that again. I think I'm just gonna have to share my whole screen here. Okay, so the big big news on the common stack front is that our first dashboard for a commons has is happening. Of course, it's for the token engineering commons, our pilot project, and uh, the the pilot commons the, that we're partnering with to launch all this magic. And it's uh, very exciting that we uh, have this parameterization, this our economy, our choice, following Eleanor Ostrom's principles. It's really important to the common stack that the community has the power to design their own economy. And this has actually never happened before. So that's super cool. And uh, we have the previews and I'm sure you guys have all seen this before uh, if you've watched these videos. But uh, I'm gonna skip the learn modules, which are really interesting, but, and go straight to the magic. Uh, we have the actual dashboard configuration where you get to choose the, the, where the community, the TEC will actually get to choose their own opening price, their own, how long their vesting is basically for their tokens. They can uh, check out the bonding curve and really experience the bonding curve, feel the different steps. And, uh, and at, at different uh, points during the curve, they can see, oh, what does this step look like when we only have 100K in the, in the bonding curve, right? And uh, also at launch, of course. And then you can even add a step. So you can really experience the bonding curve. What happens if someone buys a million dollars worth? Oh my gosh, it's huge. Uh, it's huge. So it's, uh, yeah, so it's super cool. And uh, we have the DAO voting. So DAO voting is uh, the, the like overall governance of, the, of a commons that uh, makes most of the decisions, like the big decisions besides funding. And so how do you wanna set that up? It has delegation, quiet ending, all these cool things. And then of course, conviction voting uh, is the way that we spend funds. And so we can actually design that like, oh, do we wanna cap the spending at how, 10% of what the DAO has in it. Maybe we should talk about this. Maybe the conviction should grow at a half-life of eight days, right? And then you get to submit pr the proposal and uh, you can say why and all these things. So I'll just like type some stuff in here. Good old ASDF, right? It's the classic. Uh, and yeah, ASDF, ASDF. So this is where people will actually say that the strategies are, why are they choosing these parameters? and then they'll submit the proposal. And when the proposal is submitted, uh, right now it's just going to a testing phase, uh, going to a test GitHub repo, but it'll be super cool because you can fork the proposal and then uh, you can fill up your dashboard with all the parameters that you see in, this, in whatever proposal you like and just go and tweak one parameter. And that way we can have this collaborative, iterative design process for the economy by the community. It's really cool. I'm really excited for it. And it's finally out. And we're going to have our first beta testing party this uh, today, actually in about two and a half hours. So probably by the time you're seeing this video, it's already happened. Uh, so it's, it'll be really exciting to, uh, to see how people can interact with it. And it's still a beta testing. This is our first param party that we're trying it out. But, uh, you know, we're not going to release it live to the public for actually designing the economies for probably a week, maybe two weeks, uh, depending on how the beta testing goes. And then in other news, in the common stack, we also have uh, the budget. So the community is doing pretty well. Actually, the big news last month was that the common simulator ended up getting about $46,000 from Gitcoin. And uh, there was a big drop uh, because we gave away $20,000 to the Gitcoin community uh, into the Gitcoin LATAM community uh, to share the abundance that we received from Gitcoin. And so it was really fun. Uh, and we, uh, but it hurt the budget. Uh, and also, uh, but in general, uh, you know, we just do the budget on the first of every month. So this is actually underselling it because we've had a good week in crypto. So uh, Ether has gone up and we actually have more funds than what it says here. Uh, there's also a big extra cost coming in this month uh, We're gonna uh, for the simulator. So that's going to be a big uh, budget budget expense. Not the simulator, sorry. 
simulators uh, pre uh, like the next step of the simulator, which is actually doing it for the parameters, uh, the parameters working group uh, that I just showed up. And, uh, but yeah, so we have funding for uh, a good little bit. We still have 155K sitting in the community budget and we have about 30K uh, uncommitted in the association budget. So the association budget is definitely dwindling a little, uh, but uh, it's okay because we have backup. So that's good. And with that, I'll pass it to Tam to talk about, uh, talk about the sprint. Cool, thanks. Um, so I'm in for that params party tonight. I wasn't sure I would, but now having seen that, I was like, I can't miss this. <laughs> I'm definitely going to that. So we're doing sprint 23 and a half. It's the sprint that wasn't a sprint. Um, the last number of weeks, our team has prioritized having team discussions about our organization. So we didn't really have a sprint at all, but um, let me share my screen now. Um, but we... Um, just felt like the name that Ivy chooses is too good to go to waste. So this sprint 23 and a half is laying mulch, um, which of course is the, um, the layers on top of soil to help it uh, help the fertility and the health of the soil and soil production. Um, this is Ivy, she comes up with these great names. Uh, so credit where credit is due and she can't be on this call with us because of time zones. She's actually based in the Philippines. Uh, even though this wasn't actually a sprint, we are, uh, we've cleared the sprint board and we are all ready to start our sprint planning on Monday and I'm really excited to, to get into that again. Um, okay, so what else are we doing? We're getting organized with contributor management. Um, part of, um, part of uh, the process is to make sure we have the tasks and outcomes um, shared between the contributors and the 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 common stack buddy who's working with the contributor. So we are really at the end of that process to have a shared understanding of the work being done. Um, and we have as well a contractor agreement template that is being reviewed by the common stack association. And once it's approved, we'll be able to assign uh, agreements with the, the contractors that we're working with. Uh, there's a sprint check-in I did with uh, PrimeDAO this sprint. Um, specifically with Luke, who's really from Collectivo, but uh, Prime Dow is Collectivo and Curve Labs and a bunch of others. And um, this came on my radar, which is um, Prime Dow is the, the TEC Labs group is going to submit a proposal to Prime Down for funding for the proposal inverter spec and model. Um, so in the next few days or weeks, we, are, we should expect this proposal to be submitted to Prime Down, which is really exciting because both Common Stack and Block Science are advisors for this work. Um, oh, I, maybe one other thing I wanna say that came on our radar today was there's a call to help from Dr. Michael Zargam to, to get CAD-CAD in Wikipedia. Uh, somebody in the CAD-CAD community had submitted this um, Wikipedia page for CAD-CAD and there was some contention and now there is a delete discussion page. Um, so you can also follow the progress there. And then on the TEC side, um, there's been, there's so much going on. Um, but one of the things that's really near and dear to my heart is the stewards and the stewards council. And we had a real, really um, interesting discussion around, you know, a, a common problem for DAOs. Um, you know, many DAOs face the same problem. When a steward is no longer active in their role, what does the offboarding look like? And what is sort of a, a graceful, you know, way to, to, um, to follow through with that? Uh, we also talked about working group funding and um, making sure that we have proposals ready before we do the commons upgrade so that these are the first proposals that we'll actually submit to the to the conviction voting in the commons upgrade. And I'll pass to Livia. Thank you, Tim. Getting my screen share ready. So yeah, I'm gonna start sharing a little bit about um, the Governouts plus Token Engineering Academy plus Common Stack initiative that we're running a reward systems research group. And uh, this is really exciting. There's so much momentum in the whole ecosystem to look into reward system. 
and we already have uh, more than 80 signups for for the program is the the most the token engineering academy ever had so far so it shows how much interest there is in this topic and uh, the link for signing up is uh, below here if you are also want to take part and to this we'll have um, a program uh, that will be shared more information about uh, what are the lectures going to be like and what are the research questions we're going to be taking in and who are um, our partner projects so one uh, one partner project we're looking into is ocean protocol we submitted a proposal and his life is gonna we're gonna have the results on monday we had a really cool reaction from the community so far uh, major praise to angela who has been coordinating most of this and if you have some ocean uh there in your wallet uh, come support us vote for this round for vote for uh the reward systems research initiative and there's much more details here Another partner project we're looking into is Zodiac from Gnosis, and we also submitted a proposal today. They had a, uh, they have some phases, steps for the proposal to be concluded. So we are in the first step where a lot of engagement is very well appreciated, and we'll move this proposal to the next step. So also, if you have questions, if you're part of the Zodiac community as well, um drop some comments in there it will help us a lot and in the token engineering side with the reward systems process um we have a lot going on as well we are transforming praise into a product and this process is being led by christopher who's the product owner and is doing magic coordinating all of the people in the front end back end and the cultural side so um you can you can see in this post that Mitch made what is the step by step for us to get into the first quantification of praise. We've been uh, stopped for a while now because we are working on this process, but soon uh, this quantification will happen and you can follow all the progress in here. And besides that, there is so much um, happening in the TC in terms of uh, learning experiences and education opportunities. One of them is the Nonviolent Communication Book Club is a really, really cool resource for uh, just being a better person in communities and knowing how to communicate better. And Juan Carlos is leading this book club uh, every Thursday after the TC community call. And there is another book club um, called The Sovereign Individual, led by Week Wiki, that happens in an Asian, um, Australia-friendly time zone. If I'm not mistaken, is uh, Saturday morning for Europe time is a new entry, so uh, it's not in the calendar yet, but it will be soon. So keep an eye for that. And and then we have the second Graviton training happening and the trainings have been so amazing, really insightful, a lot of people joining and here in this blog post that it's also linked down here, you can find uh, the study plan for all of the sessions so you can get there prepared and make the best out of your time. And with that, I'll pass to Den. Hey, Grace. Oh, my. It's my turn, really? <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought Chris wasn't here. But then I pass to you, Chris. All right. Uh, I don't have a lot prepared today. Um, I've mostly been on vacation uh, for the sprint. Uh, so I'm back home on the farm. Um, yeah, my internet here is maybe, it may or may not cut out. It's been a little iffy today. So um, yeah, I we've been uh, working on um, just making sure that our uh, comms distribution is is continuing. Great work on uh, on that to Akene and Ivy. Um, thank you guys for continuing while I've been uh, taking a bit of a break. Um, we've also got some transition stuff happening uh, with the team. Um, 
I'm helping to transition a few of my responsibilities to other contributors and onboarding um, a few other folks. Um, particularly, we're looking at onboarding um, some long tail financial folks to uh, share some comms load between organizations and have, have a bit of a pool of comms resources. And part of this is because uh, this is going to be one of my last sprints with the team. Unfortunately, I will be moving to uh, tally.cash. Tally uh, it's a, a new wallet that's coming up, open source, community owned. Check it out if you want. Uh, but yeah, I will be over there helping with community stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll still be around the Comstack community. I'll still be contributing uh, here and there. I uh, can't, can't really leave you guys. It's too great a project. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I've been working on this uh, this sprint and uh, really look forward to helping on the sidelines, push things forward and seeing what you guys are all able to do uh, as the core team. So uh, really looking forward to all that. Um, and I don't have the list in front of me, so I will, uh, I think it was Dan though. Uh, I will pass to Dan. Sorry, maybe I should put down the Palo Santo. But got kind of out of, I had no idea where to put it, but sorry. I don't want a fire in my room. Uh, yeah. Hey guys. Um, so basically this, yeah, it's going to be magical. There, there's some beautiful, beautiful work that I, I, I'm going to show you very quickly. Look at this beauty. This is the ongoing work in the Trusted Seed dashboard. So you can think about all the way from the inspiration and you already maybe you already saw the how the ideas and the brainstorming and everything came together. And this is also being pushed by Christopher who, thanks Christopher, you know, like, uh, uh, oh man. <laughs> and all this beautiful work is coming together into initial mockups right now. So that's, you know, it's, I don't even, I, I need to get Christopher in one of these calls just to describe this himself, like, uh, because it's, it's, it's so big, like, uh, I, I'm not doing it justice, I want to go deeper and go out and go in, go out, go in, show, and show so many things, so this will take a while, because I will also have to, like, uh, you know, swim around a little bit, um, so this is something beautiful that's happening, also, um, uh, thinking about transitions, uh, I was I was particularly interested into closing like as many issues that I could like uh, in these last few days. Um, particularly like I don't know like we are thinking about maybe looking for a fundraiser. Okay, so who are the people that are fundraisers? We're thinking about content. Oh my God, who are the content guys? So I'm putting like together a bunch of lists like uh, people that had not only activated uh, their Trusted Seed membership, but just also like successfully applied to the Trusted Seed in general. Oh, there is a fire, that's good. And anyway, there's just three lists right now thinking about content production and the wider creative folks that are coming to to common stack in general. On the other side, like potential fundraisers. So anyway, that's put together it's in the hands. Of, actually, I think I sent it to the whole thing and put the other guys there, but it's in hands, in Dan's hands so far right now. So that's fun. We may reach out to some of you and <laughs> continue in our transitions beside the, the process side. I also had some news, uh, basically, yeah, this is also one of my last, um, if not the last sprint review for me. Um, <laughs> potentially something like that. I will be transitioning into a huge challenge of decentralizing a Silicon Valley venture back huge company. So that's something that will be fun, you know, and lots of resources and things to play. So there are several things that may happen from that side. I, of course, want to continue to be engaged as a contributor in any way I can. Um, on the other side, it's like having those resources and continuing to work on a community architecture, behavioral design, and a lot of things that I actually wanted to do with the trusted team, but I couldn't at some point. It's like, ideally, I will be building in the open and being able to pour some of those things back into the open source space as much as I can. So that's one thing. And the other thing is like, you know, I mean, the last, the last week I've been like hanging out with a bunch of people that I know are part of the trusted seat and I will continue to do so. I really want to like gather this massive force, this massive energy and channel it whatever I can, at least thinking about the future of the dashboard and the future of how the trusted seed may continue to decentralize and how we can continue to co-design and co-build because otherwise, you know, how am I going to engage with this? I, 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 I myself am the biggest guy interested in this. Like I, I really want to continue to be engaged. So the best way to do that is basically tap back into everybody back in the trusted seed and, you know, 
ideally channel towards that. So yeah, start ideas there. Reach out to me if anything. I'm still in, in Give It House in Barcelona. If you are in the if you are around here until February, at least I will be around here that I know. <laughs> so you know, you're welcome to come. I already spoke with one of the guys and it's like, oh my god, yeah, yeah, I'm coming in December. So you're welcome down here. That will be fun. And we can have these higher level conversations in the future of the trusted seed and how that pours into the wider community building, the whole DAO space. So that's fun. I, I, I don't have the list as well in front of me, so I had no idea who to pass it to. Oh my God. Uh, I think it's, Akane, are you there? Are you ready? I, am I putting you in the spot? Go for Akane. You're muted. You're mute. You're muted, Akane. It happens to everybody. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. It's better now. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. So it's been an amazing sprint. Quickly, let me say, um, we've done a whole lot of things, and this sprint has been very, very, very rewarding. I'd say. Um, okay. Oh boy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Okay. So, um, this is an idea we've been, um talking about, but it's taking shape now. We're looking at um, creating a Christmas pop for Trusted Seed members. So we're going to like send it out to Trusted Seed members during the Christmas holidays as a way to say thank you. And also um, I started updating our evergreen content because we're looking at our content map and we're also looking at a way to, when people come on board, come on stack, they need to understand what we've done in the past, they need to understand where we are, and they need to follow the conversation. So I have a green content to help you stay in the loop of things. And then a quick shout out to for the massive support we received during the Common Stack Region AMA video post. So it was so huge. I think it, it, it became a top post for, for a week. Yes, and it was massive, so thank you guys. And we reached 4K on Twitter, that is great. So yay, thank you guys for you know everything and staying with us on Common Stack and helping engage our post and everything we put out. And on LinkedIn, before now on LinkedIn, we are like uh, 11, 12, and we crossed the 300 mark during this sprint. So thank you so much for bringing your energy. Thank you for being part of everything we do in Common Stack, we appreciate you and um, yeah, so keep it coming. I'll pass it now to, is it Eunicia Maria? <laughs> I don't know. Thank you again and well, this is my first print <laughs> uh, review and uh, well, and also my second month in the Trusted Seed Common Stack uh, group and family. I would like to say, and so I feel very welcome every single day that I open my laptop. <laughs> I see you guys or talk about ideas and partnerships and everything. So I'm very excited to be part of this and be here with you. Uh, so in my last read and the, the past month, I work on a, a Trusted Seed Gardeners not a dashboard notion. Uh, I wanted to, to bring the idea of having a hub where we can, uh, as a team, uh, gather on the, around the information and everything that we have available to work on. So I will do a little presentation of the baby. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is something uh, very, very tiny uh, where we can have uh, our thoughts and ideas and information, even our our spreadsheets that we have a lot, a lot of data that, that we that we are working on. But yeah, this is a little something that I did. Uh, I find it funny that for the first time I I added a widget with three time zones. <laughs> uh, sometimes uh, we can we can share uh, change the the time zones because we have a, a very diverse. Uh, team, but other than that, we have a master ball with everything, spreadsheet data. Uh, also, I I open uh, a place like the media library, the courses and glossary uh, services that we that we use, like tools tools 
that, that we work on uh, galleries and everything. But this is mainly to for us to share, even for meditation app, uh, something that we can value uh, for personal and professional uh, development. But yeah, this was my my little baby that I work on the last uh, the past month, and uh, there's a proposal for me to um, improve the whole team and the com the common stack. Um, um, Notion page and, and dashboard, so that's exciting for me. Uh, uh, I'm really aiming to improve processes and aiming to to uh, make stronger connections, even though we are in in a remote uh, mode. But we can we can have some somewhere to go and and, and be together in ideas and 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 processes. But yeah, <laughs> uh, again. Thank you for having me in this amazing family, and I'll pass it to Gina. Thank you, Maria. Hi, everyone. Um, this is also my first sprint review. I feel so, so, so happy of being part of this amazing group. I think uh, this is amazing, okay? So, uh, we will be working on improving our internal data uh, by auditing and doing some management as well as creating a dashboard to complement uh, the work that is uh, already done on, uh, or is working on, <laughs> on Notion. Uh, uh, this uh, dashboard will, will have our statistics in Google Data Studio. And uh, this will contain the most important trusted seed members uh, KPIs to track and view on a simple report for the team. Uh, so we are currently 380 members uh, in the trusted seed, so yay! <laughs> we also, uh, we're, we're de developing new ideas to increase engagement and participation in Common Stack Discord, hoping that you we like it and join. Uh, we will surely be sharing more details about it soon. And finally, I want to let you know that you can count on Maria and I if you need help with your trusted seed journey. So I pass it to Griff. Thank you. Thank you, Yane, and thank you everyone for uh, for an amazing session. But you know, we we are still in the show. We're all here. We get all the glory, but it's not really fair because it's such a community effort that we're doing. Uh, and uh, it, so we will always take the time to praise all the people that make our work actually be possible. Like for instance, I don't do any. I, I all I do is help product ownership for the dashboard. But Vitor, Fabio, Mitch, Marco, Pedro, Nuggin, Malmanu, Nate, Lauren, Zepti, all of their work is what got us to this huge milestone. And I, and of course, I got to praise for Shell for doing so much behind the scenes accounting work to make those budgets uh, shine. And I want to praise Ivy, of course, for the great name, again, the sprint and everything she does behind the scenes. Got to praise for Shell for the, pushing the buddy system forward, praising Baron, Chris, Jeff, and Zargum for reviewing our contractor agreements and being the best uh, common stack board I could imagine. Praise YGG for all his great work in the proposal inverter. Praise Luke, Pat, uh, Ruben, Sam, and the rest of the PrimeDAO uh, community for supporting projects like the Proposal Inverter. Got to praise Zargum and Joshua for the amazing work they have done to make CAD CAD such a legitimate project. I can't believe that Wikipedia would even question it. Uh, praise Angela, of course, for all the work that she does in the Token Academy and the governance and pushing the reward system uh, forward through with such grace. Uh, and of course, the rest of the governance and Token Academy organizers, Natalia and such. Uh, praise Ocean for their grant system, uh, for uh, their uh, for grants to the systems research uh, and praise Martin, Stefan, Aaron, and all the other Gnosis crew for their work on Zodiac. Praise Christopher and Mitch and Rudolph for all the reward system work that they're doing to push that project forward. Praise Wonka, Durgadas, Aloysius, Lorelei, and all the other teachers that are bringing conflict uh, resolution to DAOs. Uh, such an important uh, effort. Praise Wit Wiki uh, for leading the leading Asian and Australian friendly book clubs that are very relevant to the common stack efforts. Praise YGG for bringing LTF into our comms community and uh, really trying to 
to support all of that, uh, like bridging the gap in so many ways. Praise Christopher for all his work pushing the Trusted Seed dashboard forward. Praise Arno, Lorelai, and Franco for helping Dan and I steward the Giveth home in Barcelona. Look us up if anyone's there. And I'm talking to all of you 4,000 Twitter followers. Praise to you for getting us there. Praise to the 318 members of the Trusted Seed. That's huge. And But I want to give a special praise. Even though you guys are in the call, I, I want to give a special praise to Dan and Chris for all their work in this last year, it was really just about a year ago that we, we hired you guys together. It's kind of uh, it's kind of magical to see you guys also like give your heart and soul and uh, to our community and to our brand and push this push the common stack to the where we are today. Uh, we're so grateful uh, for all of your efforts and uh, and now uh, you know we know that you're you guys are both like committed to pushing this mission forward in in the wherever you go uh, and of course we'll see you. Uh, around all the time maybe not in these calls but we'll see you uh no doubt and uh love you guys and uh thank you everyone thank you for another great sprint well at least half a sprint and we'll uh we'll finish